I do want to bring up another point, which is that a very simple thing that you might consider doing to try to bring your uric acid down or to block any negative effects of the uric acid is to drink uh, water, uh, a lot of water. So we found that fructose drops the energy in the cell. And that seems to be the special mechanism by which it, it drives obesity. And the way it works is that when the energy falls, that there's this, the breakdown of ATP is broken down to uric acid and uric acid is doing all these biologic effects. And so for the longest time, we thought it was just that pathway that was driving the obesity. But then we had the discovery that there's another mechanism that's linked with the uric acid driving the obesity. And that pathway seems to be due to the fact that fat is more than just an energy source. So we think of fat as a source of calories that animals use when there's not enough food around. But animals also use fat to produce water. And the way that works is when fat is burned, mm -hmm. it generates water. So there's no water in fat, but when you burn it, you produce water. And a lot of animals turn out to make fat to not just store it as energy, but to store it as water. So when there's not enough water around, they can have it available. When you, we realized that, that fat was also a means for storing water, we became interested in if you're dehydrated, would that be a mechanism for stimulating fat? Because if you were afraid you're gonna become dehydrated or you were dehydrated, wouldn't it make sense to try to store fat as a source of water? Whales will have a lot of fat. They don't get their fresh water from the seawater. They have to get their fresh water from the crustaceans and things they eat. In order to get enough water, they actually get fat. And then they, what they do is they break down the fat to release water. And so it turns out that dehydration is another mechanism for generating fructose in the body. So if you eat like salty foods, a lot of salty foods, that will activate this enzyme to convert glucose to fructose. And when you eat salt, you basically are becoming de dehydrated. That's why you get thirsty. So you eat salt get dehydrated, you start making fructose, the fructose drives fat production, and then the fat production becomes a source of water. So if you have a lot of fat, you can live without a lot of water because you, you can use the fat to make water. If I understood you correctly, dehydration can actually endogenously within the body produce fructose. Absolutely. I think that's fascinating because a lot of carnivores, um, since we don't eat a lot of carbs with fat, with salt and sugar, we don't feel a lot of thirst. So, so they're maybe getting dehydrated and then they're producing some of the fructose, which is making some people stall in their weight, even though they're eating very low carb. And so what we found is that dehydration actually is another mechanism that turns on this polyol enzyme wow. to convert glucose to fructose. And when you become dehydrated, mild dehydration triggers this effect to try to make fat. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.